Hello everyone, this is Daddy here. Hope you're well. Today we will discuss the three most important candlestick patterns. Traders in the financial markets often use candlesticks as a great visual aid to what price has done within a certain period of time. Not all candlestick patterns work equally well, but let's take a look at the three most important patterns. They are the pin bar, the inside bar, and the engulfing bar. And later on, we'll also talk about how to trade one of these patterns. All right, so the first one is the pin bar. Okay, we we'll look at bullish bearish pin bars and we we'll look at bullish trend and bearish trend pin bars. So what is a pin bar? A pin bar, which is also known as Pinacchio bar, is a single candlestick that gives a clue of potential price reversal in the market. A pin bar is an elongated wick that sticks out from the candlestick. Preferably, we look for one-sided wick that are two times the size of the candlestick. So here we have the body, here is the nose, and here is the tail. Usually we like the, the tail to be twice as long as the body. So this is the bullish pin bar, and here is the bearish pin bar. This is the tail, the body, and the nose should be as short as possible. So as we said, preferably, we want this to be at least double the length of the candle or the body. Okay. While pin bars can form anywhere in the chart, the best and most effective formation occur at key support or resistance level. So the key is to look out prior market action. If the pin bar is pushing through a prior support or technical level, the probability is high that the pin bar will result in a reversal or at least a significant ret retracement of the prior market price. So next is we are going to look at the bullish pin bar. Okay. So we have a, an extended bearish market here. And then we see at the end of that bearish market, a bullish pin bar formation. Okay, this is the bullish bar, uh, pin bar. And it is also formed at a support level. Okay, at a support level or support area. This is good because it is a confluence confirmation. Meaning this is not just the pin bar only, but it's also support line confirmation so what we see here is the bearish price has actually been rejected by this pin bar signifying that we might likely start pushing upward and that not only that we see that that happened at a strong support level so this is a confirmation for this uh, bullish reversal Let's look at the bearish reverse as well. So this is a significant up move. And then we see this pin bar appear here at a very strong resistance level. So it is a double confirmation for us that this might be a good reversal point. And then we we'll see the price uh, goes lower from there. So this is um, market rejecting the up move because the bulls were in charge prior up to this point uh, after this pin bar the bears they took over because they rejected the price going up okay so we have two confirmation the confluence of both resistance level and the pin bar all right so let's look at the trend pin bar okay so we have a trend pin bar. Let's look at the bullish formation. Now we see a long 
uptrend here and um, only trade in the direction of the dominant trend okay because it is more accurate when you trade in that direction okay uh, let's also make sure you use a higher time frame preferably a daily chart it is possible to trade trend pimba with four hour or one hour chart but it's more accurate most accurate when you use higher time frame this is the example of a bearish trend pin bar. Okay, so you got this pin bar's formation here. All right, this is an opportunity to participate in this downtrend. So you have almost five places you can continue to trade this downtrend. Okay, always straight in the same direction of the main trend and use a higher time frame okay this is trend pin bar right we are going to talk about the next one which is the inside bar okay we will discuss the bullish inside bearish inside bar pattern and then we will talk about how to trade this inside bar we'll give two examples one bullish example and one bearish example all right, we go for it. What is inside bar? Okay. Another word we use for inside bar is continuation bar. So that it could be easy for us to remember what it is. Continuation bar. Okay. So an inside bar is formed when price trade within the high and low range of the previous day. Okay. So this is the previous day candle. And this is the inside bar. It trades between the high and the low of this candle. So you see this candle, the high of this candle is lower than the high of this candle. The low of this candle is higher than the low of this candle. So you see this candle is like inside of this one. Similarly here, this the low of this candle is not as low as that. The high of this candle is not as high as the high of this candle. So we call this big candle here, the mother candle and the inside bar or the inside candle. So as we said, it works best on higher time frame. It must also occur within a strong trend. What actually does this signify? It tells us a period of low volatility. So we have seen that price are on uptrend and when it goes to this inside bar there was a low volatility on that day if you put look at the average true range the atr here of this bar is low so high minus low the atr is lower than the high minus low of this uh, candle so there is a low volatility on this day and after the low volatility is ending or has ended we continue with the prior trend similarly here low volatility but after that the trend continues okay so this is the inside bar bullish continuation inside bar bearish continuation so this is a good example as well so we are in an uptrend and this is a inside bar another inside bar formation how do i know this candle here is contained within the previous candle this candle also is contained within the previous candle an example of the inside bar bearish condition or continuation you see significant downtrend here and this is an inside bar another inside bar another inside bar you can see this bar the high of the mother bar is higher and the low of the mother bar is higher so that's why we call this an inside bar it's an opportunity here to participate in this downtrend now the question is how do we trade inside bar so we will give example of how we trade inside bar we do a bearish example and a bullish 
example. So the first one is the bearish example. Okay. So this is a significant downtrend. Okay. And then we see the formation of this inside bar. I think you can recognize here that this is an inside bar of this big candle of this mother candle. Okay. So how do we trade it? Okay. We enter a sell stop order on the break of the mother bar low. So this is the mother bar. This is the low. So you enter a sell stop order here. You put a sell stop order. And once that uh, price level has been broken, your order will be executed. And because it's a sell order, then you are in profit going downwards. Where do you play your, place your stop loss? It must be placed above the mother high. This is the mother candle, the high of this candle uh, plus some pips. Okay, put a gap on top of the mother candle and specify your stop loss. Then what about the take profit? Okay, very simple. Take profit should be done with the risk reward ratio that suits you. You might want to decide your risk to reward ratio should be one to two. Uh, someone might say they want one to three or one to five. It is whatever you have decided it should be. Okay. So now if you look at this trade and your uh, stop loss here is let's say 20 pips and your risk reward is one to two, your take profit will be 40 pips. If your stop loss was 30 pips, your risk reward ratio, if it is a 1 to 2, will be 60 pips and so on and so forth. But remember, you must trade in the direction of the trend. Uh, you must also use a higher time frame. Okay. Uh, this is how to trade the inside bar, the bearish continuation. Let's see. The bullish continuation inside bar the bullish trend so this is a bullish trend okay you can identify here that this is an inside bar this is the mother candle and this car candle is actually contained inside this previous day candle so how do we trade this so you enter a buy stop order on the break of the mother high so this is the mother candle on the break of this candle right here. So your uh, order, your buy stop order will have been triggered right here. And then you'll be in profit. Similarly, where do you put your stop loss? It should be right below the low of the mother bar. And put a bit of gap and set your stop loss. What about the take profit? is very similar to the previous scenario it's either ratio one to two ratio one to three or even one to five risk reward so if your if your risk here was let's say 50 pips and you have decided ratio one to two then your take profit target will be 100 pips okay i hope we are getting this so this is an example of how to trade the inside bar a bullish continuation pattern now let's go to the next one which is the engulfing pattern okay the engulfing pattern is different it's a reversal remember the previous one is a continuation but this is a reversal pattern so we'll talk about the bullish and the bearish engulfing pattern Okay, so what is bullish and governing pattern? So it's a white body or let's say a bullish candle, right? That is wrap itself around a bearish candle or a black candle. Okay, so the high of this candle is higher than the high of this candle. The low of this uh, engulfing candle is lower than the low of the previous days candle what does, does this mean for us it means the market 
uh, is reaching its lowest point. It's bottoming down. So we have a significant drop in price or downtrend which has been stopped by this bullish candle, by this engulfing bullish candle. Okay. Similarly, this is a bearish engulfing candle which is also a reversal pattern. So we have this black body here, this black body here which are uh, formed after this bullish candle and is much bigger. So it's actually overpowered or swallow the previous bullish candle. So giving us a reversal pattern. Okay. What does that mean for the market? It means that the bull have been stopped in their tracks. So the bullish um, uh, people, uh, the bulls in the market have been stopped and this kind of signify the bears are now in charge, they're in control. So let's look at the real examples. So this is a real bullish engulfing pattern example. So we see the market is in a downtrend and suddenly the engulfing bar appears. This is the engulfing bar, which means it actually overpower this black candle here. The higher is higher than this and the lower is lower than this candle. Okay. So it signify a reversal. So also it must develop at a level of support and resistance okay level of support or resistance as in this case a level of support okay so let's use daily time frame uh, for this uh, analysis and for higher probability setup you know if you want to be uh, very sure of the engulfing candle setup you look for more confluence okay one of the confluence is to be found at a support level at a pivot point and maybe at a moving average 200 moving average support level and so on and so forth whatever setup that you think might help you to make up your mind if it is the uh, turning point you can apply those confirmations and last but not the least this is the bearish and govern candle uh, we have a significant up move and then we have this bearish engulfing candle here which is actually the lower of this uh, candle is lower than this previous one the high of this engulfing bar is higher than the previous one so this is an engulfing uh, pattern and we see the bulls which were in charge here have been stopped and the bears now are in charge so this is a significant reversal so it must also be developed at a significant resistance level so if it is found at a resistance level here that will be an interesting one so use a higher time frame like daily time frame so as we said for higher probability uh, you need more confluences uh, moving average uh, support uh, support level uh, pivot point and Fibonacci levels and so on and so forth. I hope you guys understand uh, these uh, patterns. They are very important. Three main patterns used in the financial market. So thank you so much for watching and very soon I will come with another wonderful videos. This is Dare. I'm signing off now.